thousands of people have marched in the capital to protest against new electoral laws and the deaths of two people in a similar march at the weekend. Protesters and some lawmakers assembled in front of the city hall in Antananarivo. They brought the coffins of two of the victims of Saturday's clashes with them. The country's defense ministry is now appealing to politicians to find a solution to avoid further violence. Meanwhile, the Malagasy president has described the opposition protests at the weekend as a coup attempt. He's called on people to remain calm. Supporters of former leader Mark Ravalomanana took to the streets on Saturday to protest against a new electoral law. The rule states that presidential candidates need to report any previous criminal convictions. Ravalomanana was convicted on several coup-related charges while he was in exile in South Africa. His supporters say the law is specifically designed to prevent him from contesting in elections. Now, for more on those uh, protests and their aftermath, our reporter Voldi Karese spoke to a journalist in the Malagasy capital earlier on. Take a listen. Uh, the people is a little bit disappointed about the presidential speech from yesterday because they were waiting for uh, they waiting from the president some kind of uh, negotiations about the situations, and instead of that, the president say that it's it's not allowed uh, such a manifestation, such a meeting in this place of Christmas. So the people are a little bit disappointed about this uh, speech.